Hello to this new tutorial. Some days ago, the IC Lite custom node extension for ConfUI got released. There are several versions and I want to show you how you easily can transfer lighting from one image to another. So we have this, we have a portrait of a girl and we exchange the background in this tutorial and we want to also transfer the lighting of the background to the foreground portrait of the girl. We are using several custom nodes. We need the Configure Essentials Pack. We need the Configure Gaffer custom node, which is the IC light implementation I want to choose. There are others, but for now I want to choose this one. I also need one node from the VAS node suit to adjust the colors and the brightness. So I will start with a standard workflow and then we will integrate the IC lighting workflow in it. And okay, let's start. So at first let's make some space. As far as I know, you can basically use any model. Uh, I use images with 512 to 512 pixel and I will use a stable diffusion 1.5 models. So at first we need the apply IC light node. And this has to go between everything so we can connect the model. Connect the VAE, connect the positive prompt, connect the negative prompt. And then we can connect this apply IC light to our case sampler. Connect positive, connect negative and connect the empty latent. And now we need our images. I have a portrait of a girl knight and I have different backgrounds and we will go to different version, background versions that I can show you the effects. Let's create image loader. And let's create another one for the background. So both images in this workflow are 512 to 512 pixel. It might also be possible to use different sized images, but to make your life much easier if you choose images which have the same size. So we can directly connect the BG for background pixels to the apply IC light node. And we choose a background. Let's take this one. Now for the foreground image, I want to remove the background and then later paste this image into our new background and transfer the light information to this foreground image. So, so for this, I want to use the remove background node from the ConfUI Essentials pack. It's called image remove background. We need the remove background model. This is loaded by the remove background session. You can experiment with the different models here. I keep the default one for now. Now we need a grayscaler. Paste our image here and paste the mask here and then we can connect the grayscaler to our foreground pixels port and let's do a preview image here. Can delete the empty latent image. So what I want to add here now is a little image adjustment node to be able to brighten up the image or make it a little bit darker that it fits better to the background 
I had the experience it's often with the IC light custom node. I had results which were too bright. Uh, maybe it's different with you, but image combinations I tried were resulting in quite bright foreground. So I like to adjust uh, the image a little bit and make it a little bit darker. So let's pipe this into the image filter. Adjustments node and pipe this into the grayscaler. And now we are able to adjust brightness, contrast, saturation, whatever you need to change the quality of the image. For the prompt, I tried different prompts, but I saw no difference in the result. The same for the model. I didn't see any big difference. So I think we can give it a try. Oh, no. So we forgot to add the IC light model. I choose the IC light SD 1.5 FBC model. I will link all custom notes and models in the description below, as well as the scientific papers where you can find more information about this IC light. So now we should be ready. Here we go. I find the result quite nice. Uh, let's try another background with this alpine scene. And it really copies the light mood of the background image and puts it to our foreground image. Let's try another one, uh, this Baroque image. which again works quite well. And I have one more, I think. Let's try this one. So again, quite nice results. So I want to show you if I adjust the brightness, for example, let's make it to minus 10. or even more, that's too much. Like so, or maybe 15, like so. Okay, there are also options to predefined uh, values like uh, lighting from left top corner or from the right bottom. I will do a video on this in the future as well. You can also animate lights and make an animation. I can do a tutorial on this as well, but for now this would be it. Have a nice day. Goodbye.